Well, things were looking out well. Um, for liberal enough definitions of well, for Penny do would. Waking up on the other side, walking among the ghosts of her town, Penny stumbled into death himself. He was, in her estimation, a nice enough guy. Perhaps a little on the bony side, but soon a grave misunderstanding led Penny to replacing him as his temp. With a new job, Penny had landed on her feet, metaphorically speaking only, of course, which left death free to take a vacation. To the moon, of course. It was the only place nearby where nobody had died. Yet. Penny found herself with a chic new wardrobe, a broken yet impressive-looking scythe, and a strange new ability, the power to possess the living and control their bodies. With it, Penny could help the ghosts in the afterlife with their problems, finishing any unfinished business they still had. Penny soon discovered she had a real knack for this sort of problem-solving and was just settling into her new job, when something very strange happened, and the life, or rather afterlife, of Penny Dowood would never be the same. Yes, sweetie? Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. Oh, come on, Harold, I'm trying! Baby, I'd like to give you a really good time on my bow! But that's, that's my body, dang it! Hey, hey! I'd recognize it anywhere! But who is that, then? And why am I talking to a skull? What is she doing with my body? We just need a little bit more, my love. I've got to get into that weird biker club. My body's in there and I don't know what it's getting up to. Spirit? What? How are you? Well, besides the art of sweet motorbikes, this radical dude is also studied in the art of mental discipline. I'm not moving anywhere. You're full of surprises, tiny biker dude. Nah, no harm, no foul. Call me Bo. Sugar. Name's Jenny, but all my friends call me Junkyard. Uh, hi, Junkyard. I'm Penny. Listen, Pen, word on the street says you want to get into the biker club, yeah? Actually, it's Penny, not Pen. And yeah, I would. Yep, used to go there all the time, Penno. Till I had me accident. Turns out riding motorbikes without a helmet is extremely dangerous. And strong airspray doesn't serve as a function in helmet. The wanted labels didn't lie. So you die. Died. Heh, <laughs> good one, Pen. Nah, I'm way too tough for that. Just in a coma. Here, check it out. Hello, anybody home? Wake up, sleepy cheeks! Eh, <laughs> see? Coma City. Way I figure, the only way I'll wake up is if I can get my sweet bod back on my sweet bike. Hey. 
You want to do me a favor, Pin? Penny. That's a weird way to say yes, but I'll take it, sugar. <laughs> Another amazing sir! Excuse me, uh, sir? Sir? <laughs> Please, call me Captain Grand Sam. On account of my powerful serving arm, which I can handily demonstrate by sending these cannonballs flying. You know, I could leave here if my descendant wasn't such a wimpy armed wimp with a wimpy arm. Your descendant has a wimpy arm? Yes, the wimpiest. I thought with my arm, my kids would have every limb covered in muscles. But turns out human genetics is much more complex than I thought, which I would have realized if I'd studied genetics more instead of hitting cannonballs with a tennis racket my entire life. But even so, no regrets. Expensive clothes, then you can spend that money on ice cream? <laughs> Idiot! Man, I'm the best at naming ice cream flavors. I can name 50 of them, no problem, including two secret flavors from the government. What are the secret government flavors? <laughs> yeah, right! Like I'd tell a voice in my head that. Nice try, telepathic ice cream cone. I'm not a telepathic ice cream cone. Oh, yeah, right. Like a telepathic ice cream cone wouldn't know to say that. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, don't eat me! I'm a telepathic ice cream cone. No way! I'm obviously going to eat you so I can gain your telepathy skills, duh. Putting you in jail for heinous crimes you actually committed. This is where you belong, you murderer. What are you, my conscience? You're a little late, kiddo. I... I can see that. This wasn't our deal, tongue. <laughs> Officer, I have a complaint. It's boring in here. And I say, it was thee who erred in the fight with the Dread Sea Beast. Again, sir. We've been stuck inside a whale having this argument for literally hundreds of years. I am happy to accept the blame if only to end this debate. Fie! Tis not a true admission of guilt, my servant. Okay, yes. About that. I have always saw us being more partners than anything else, especially considering how I carry all the equipment. Carry it right to our dooms, you mean? To think of my noble bones inside that... That filthy beast as their final resting place. Why, tis unthinkable. I shall not think it, Squire. <sighs> Nobody asks you to, sir.
<laughs> There's nothing more evil than poking things. Hey, don't poke things anymore. Be gone, unwanted thoughts. I will poke this world until the day I die. Well, I'm Penny, and I'm here to help. Wow. Wow. Calling me whale like I'm just a, a piece of meat to you. Wow. No, 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 no. Don't be mad. I'm sorry. I just... And since when has my own subconscious referred to itself as Penny anyway? <laughs> Man, I have had bones stuck in my blowhole for far too long. Maybe blow them out? You think I haven't been trying, subconscious? Pay attention! Where's this coming from? <laughs> Hi, I... Oh, chill, my muse speaks to me. Lay it on me, muse. You need some jazz? I'm your man. Great, but I don't think I need any jazz. Anything else you can do? I blow into my horn, man. I'm only good for sweet licks and possibly filling extremely large things with air. As my muse, you should be totally hip to that. Pfft, I'm hip. I'm hip. I'm definitely hip. Give my body a real talking to the second you busted out of there and wake it up from that stupid coma it got itself into. Uh, you give up, you will never be as good at tennis as your mother. Or her mother. Or her father. Or his father. Or we have a completely remarkable family of tennis players. Mm. 
legs surging with power. Arms suddenly feel more skilled. Tennis, no longer the paragon of endless depression it once was. Bjorn, cheer up! You can be better at tennis if you believe in yourself. <laughs> nope. The only way to get better at tennis is practice. And also being born with an amazing body doesn't hurt. Okay, true. But all athletes know the horrible secret of physical fitness. Practice is boring! The only way you'll actually do it is if you believe it's worthwhile, i.e. if you believe in yourself. That's... that's right, actually. I should believe in myself. I feel a bit better already. On second thought, tennis is horrible and I hate it forever. The end. Oh, uh, what's the point? Even if I hit the ball well, it's just gonna be returned to me for me to hit it again. It's so pointless. You might as well give up your... I went to medical school for 10 years in order to yield this reflex hammer. <laughs> that was definitely a good use of my limited lifespan. What the? This appears to be a spontaneous inverted pendulum gate. The Journal of Terrestrial Locomotion will find... What is this? What is this? Hey, whoa! These Dang, patients are if that window was open, patients. I could easily get Junkyard's body through it. Great but the butter. window's way too solid. Nobody else was conscious enough to hear it. Hey, hey, body. We agreed long ago that I was the one in charge. Patient, check. Still in a coma? Check. Well, my work here is done. See, I can possess people, so maybe I can- Oh, don't waste your time, Pen. Coma means nobody's getting up and walking around. But don't take my word for it. Hi, Junkyard! Wakey-wakey, up and at him! Coma! No, no, I know, but this is me ending the... Coma! I know, but if you just... Coma, 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 coma! Ugh, never mind. Oh, really? Strike the magazine for bowlers who love bowling so much they'll subscribe to a magazine about it? This year's best ball is the number 9 Liquid Core Marble X3000? Please. Is that a good ball? Listen in her voice. You know as well as I do that the best thing to happen to bowling balls was the dual blend hybrid balls. And we will go to our graves fighting for that. I'd like to care about anything as much as you care about bowling. Is there anything better than pulling flesh from bone? For a vulture? No. And we are not complaining. I knew this is how it was going to end. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yes, let us fly around here for a bit. Maybe there's some flesh to eat. Man. 
Having a mouth that can only say caw, and a brain that can appreciate all the finest beauty in the world, would be frustrating. But who am I to complain? I get to eat rotten meat? You understand English? What was that in her voice? You sounded like a human just now, instead of a vulture, which is what I am. Uh, car? In a voice? You say the dirtiest things. I'm not complaining. Hey, idiot. Don't you... You poop in my pot, you start a war. And I'll be the one who ends it. Don't test me, bird. War is hell, and I'm about to bring one right to you. You think this gun is just for show, boy? It fires meatballs at 3,500 rounds per minute. And that's more than enough to turn you into lasagna. One of these days, I'm gonna kill that bird. Or build a roof over my giant pot of spaghetti and meatballs. And I don't particularly care which one it is. Hey, Tina, it's me again. Oh my gosh, the voice is back! Hey, boys, did you know it's Meatball's birthday today? He's a dog! And they named him Meatball because he loves meatballs! And I wanted to name him Digestion because he really loved Digestion! But everyone said Meatball was a better name. Thanks, Tina. I just gotta move you around real quick. It will be as delicious as the Roman victory over Carthage in the Battle of Zama. I'm not familiar with that war. What is your major malfunction, subconscious? Scipio defeated the war elephants by... I'm sorry I brought it up. You're darn right you're sorry. Now please, be quiet. I'd like to spend several minutes recreating the battle in my head. While also considering spices for this pasta dish. Oh, man. If I lose Meatball, my wife is gonna kill me. You lost your dog, Ronald? Oh, what are you doing, Inner Voice? I need you to give me confidence. That can make me feel worse. Right, right. Um, go you? Marginal effort at best, Inner Voice of Confidence. <laughs> Yeah, which one it is? Ah! I can make poop come out of my body, and therefore, I love my body! I attack food with the same intensity I attack enemies in the field. Ah! Which is to ah! say, we're all oh, oh, my right, soldier! Ah! Person, people. I might have expected this ah! from a cat. Hello there, I'm Penny and I... Hi! Hi! I'm Sally! Are you my brain? Hi! I like to poop! Hi! No! Well, kinda. See... Hi, brain! I'm Sally! I'm a seagull who likes to poop! Hi! Yes, I gathered that. And what I'd like to talk about is... Hi! I'm Sally! Are you my brain? I like to poop! Never mind. Poops ahoy! Here comes the salty surprise! 
I might have expected this from a cat. Walkies. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Me! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! Mm, I don't know. Seems to me like good boys wouldn't get tangled up in balloons and carried off into the sky. Good boy like balloons! Good boy like sky! Days I'm gonna kill that bird. Or build a roof over my giant pot of spaghetti and meatballs. And I don't particularly care which one it is! Bye. I might have expected this from a cat. Really, ah! not fun. I command you to step. You step that. Cease your action. Don't you know that if you do step that? I could eat infinity of these if I wanted to. No problem. I'm probably the best person at eating ice cream. What's the point? Even if I hit them, don't make me angry. Here comes the salty surprise! Hey, guys! I. What's <laughs> our. Business of tennis. Yeah, I could have done anything easier, like rocket science or theoretical physics. I have had it. Uh... Hey, it's not that. I command you to stop. I might have expected this from a cat. I regret the following things. Nothing. Well, Quick get it. back here. Stop it. Blimey. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, man. Leave me alone. Hey, quit it. Oh, come on, man. Ah. 
My, 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 my practice makes me so bored. Makes me say, oh, my lord. And now I hear you clamor. Who's he going to hit with his reflex hammer? Stop. Hammer time. Wow. Is this? It hurts! Oh, it hurts! My freaking arm got hit by a bowling ball! <laughs> I gotta get to the hospital! Doc, you gotta help me! I felt so good at tennis that I was unafraid when a bowling ball came out of my tennis ball shooter machine, and now my arm is total garbage! Good God, man! Your diagnosis is accurate! Your arm is garbage now! We need to find an arm donor or you'll... You'll never play tennis again! Oh no! Yesterday that would have been a relief, but I've recently gotten slightly more into tennis! Is there anyone in your family who doesn't need all their arms? We only need the one! Hmm... Why aren't any arm donors walking in the front door? If it were leg donors, I could understand, but come on, people! It's just an arm. You've probably got at least two of them. The agony! Yes, let us fly around here. Oh, you Maybe gotta be kidding me. Flesh to eat. Is there anything better than pulling flesh from bone? Or a vulture? No! And we are not complaining. Let us fly around here for a bit. Maybe there's some flesh to eat. Yay! Mystery solved! Is there anything better than pulling flesh from bone? For a vulture? No. And we are not complaining. <laughs> no, no, no! Yes! Perfect! Take that arm, vulture! I'm... I'm trying to talk to a bird. Penny, it has been a very unusual morning for you. Uh, like our dog, not not the food stuff produced here. What the? Yes! An arm! A long, dead, semi-decayed, and extremely smelly arm, but you're not choosy, are you, friend? I'm too depressed about tennis and my catastrophic accident to make major life choices right now. That's the spirit! Besides, with the muscles on this arm, you may end up thanking me. Oh, 
Yes! Yes! Legs surging with power. Arms suddenly feel more skilled. Tennis, no longer the paragon of endless depression it once was. Wow, is this what it feels like to be good at sports? No wonder jocks love them so much. Jeez, this is great. Controlled walker in the field, man. Repeat, my feet are taking me for a walk. How do you do that? Sized hole in your chest, bird brain. Oh! I'm free, free and full of meat. No dog has ever been happier. I truly a, a good dog. <laughs> Are you still a good boy? I am! I'm an especially good boy on my birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday, Meatball. Is this, uh, what you expected would happen on your big day? All I wanted was attention! Now I've got tons of it! I'm such a good boy! <laughs> This is pretty much the best ice cream I've ever eaten. Top tip. Easy. Bow well, bow well, well, and so forth. Burk, 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 burk. Ugh, getting lightheaded. Hoo, roo, 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 roo. Bow well. 
Bark! Bark, 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 bark! Bark, 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 bark! Ugh, getting lightheaded. Oh, bark, 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 bark! Ugh, getting lightheaded. Bow wow! Bow wow! Ugh. Yep, 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 yep. and other dog noises. Bark, 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 bark! Fine. To poke rising. Here's a practical joke. A practical a book. Again. Finally, I can. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's the water? Where's the water? Forsooth, our mortal remains finally rest free from that dread beast. That means our business here is done, and we can fade out of existence, sir. Which, as it's already begun, I believe also means that. I finally got the last word! What? No! No! There! Now you can breathe again! Yeah, except now I'm beached. This is a problem for whales, you know. But not as bad as having skeletons inside you, yeah? It is a marginal improvement at best. There! Now you can breathe again! Yeah, except now I'm beached. This is a problem for whales, you know. But not as bad as having skeletons inside you, yeah? It is a marginal improvement at best. There she blows! But she does not blow quite enough. We need more power! Coming from I'm so happy my tail is wagging. I'm so happy my tail is wagging. That's the stuff. This should give us the power we need. Blow, trumpeter, blow! I'm blowing! I'm imagining this whale is a giant dance trumpet! Alright, that's enough out of you! Hold on! Went to medical school for ten years in order to yield this reflex hammer. <laughs> that was definitely a good use of my limited lifespan. What the? This appears to be a spontaneous inverted pendulum gate. The Journal of Terrestrial Locomotion will find this fascinating. What is this?
I'd say rest in pieces, but I actually need you alive. Don't die, junkyard! Hey, 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 buddy! We agreed long ago that I was the one in charge. Oh, really? What is this? Whoa! What is this? Uncontrolled A-stimulated locomotive ambulation. Ooh, there's a paper in this for sure. Hold on there. I remember was Anna in a coma? But now I'm on a bike, and all my problems are over. I've learned nothing from this experience. Woo! You know what you're doing, Pen. Hey, Jenny, me again. Pen! How's life among the dead and dying? Uh, surprisingly challenging. Mind if I borrow you for a bit? Hey, me casa is su casa. Harold? 
Yes. Yes, I agree. We do need to punish him. Uh, no, please. We're just like your regular biker bar. Just a regular gray market, unlicensed biker bar filled with smelly men and uh, smellier bikes. <laughs> yeah. I don't smell bikes. I smell bones, and I know you're hiding them from me. What the heck am I, I mean, she, talking about? Why is she in my body? She's here. She's here. Yes, we must destroy her. We must eat her 